uh, hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my new playlist and in this playlist i'm going to talk about cloud everything about cloud so recently i put a few playlists one playlist was about aws cloud practitioner mock test so it was like a nice uh, 65 questions quiz you can actually if you are going for the examination then uh, you can actually uh, just have a look on to that uh, mock test that will help you to get a certification then another playlist where i was covering aws serverless with serverless framework where i covered a aws serverless component sqs sns uh, lambda uh, api gateway and dynamo db all these things now this is uh, another playlist which i will be starting with what i'm going to talk in future playlist okay so my ma major focus is to get yourself get uh, the audience familiar with the cloud and my major focus area is aws and then azure so I i'm not going to talk about uh, the certification things and how to get certifications and all but yes covering those certification syllabus uh, we can actually talk about those set of services it can be azure or it can be aws right like like is azure fundamentals right so we just need to see okay first of all what all things are required for getting the certification of azure fundamentals what all knowledge and we are going to cover that in a separate playlist similarly after just like covering this uh, basic cloud practitioner course my next target is to cover uh, the solution architect uh, developer associate solution architect associate course and i will be just uh, choosing all those set of services which are required to get certifications all these set of services which are like uh, more than 25 20 or 25 plus we'll be talking about these services to get more familiarity and uh, that may also help you directly or indirectly in getting the certifications either developer associate or solution uh, architect associate and similarly there is a azure fundamental course which is equivalent to the the aws practitioner course which talks about the uh, the basic fundamentals of all the services which azure provides and when it comes to the aws practitioner certification it also talks about all the services as a whole you should be at least familiar with all the all the service or all the components of the aws similarly like this is the diagram which talks about aws services re regarding the data developer services compute services integration all these services are integrated into the few categories like compute storage networking right so the in these segments these major services are divided like we have uh, ec2 lambda as a compute then we have a storage sqs uh, sorry for the storage we have like s3 uh, we have ebs efs and many more similarly for networking we have aws vpc right uh, subnetting load balancer but uh, and all these things similarly azure has its own things right in networking we have app gateway vpn gateway and all these different different components right so based on what we are targeting my target is to at least cover these fundamentals on azure so it's like EZ900 certification, which talks about the Azure basic fundamentals. And then we have already covered AWS serverless. We have already covered uh, the AWS cloud practitioner. So we can start talking about solution architect associate, which talks about these many set of services. And once we are familiar, then we can also decide the architecture of our application what all aws components we may need for writing any kind of application which is going to be deployed on aws right so that is my uh, the main focus so what i will do is i will start with uh, aws uh, i'm going to start with aws uh, solution architect associate and parallelly i will also craft i will also create another playlist which talks about azure fundamentals okay so we'll start with very basics creating the account uh, just getting uh, familiar with the azure console azure services which are divided into uh, compute services uh, compute stories and networking and it's like same like we have aws now we have azure there may be some other cloud uh, vendor or cloud provider but these are two more popular these days azure is also now getting popular now you can have have actually developer credits you get your accounts for the azure 
to start exploring for the services which Azure provides. Okay, so stay tuned. Uh, I will be posting uh, two separate playlists: one for the Azure fundamentals, second for the Solution Architect Associate course on AWS.